Yo guys, Matt from Upsilon Mining coming back at you again with another video. I just kind of wanted to go over today what my current profitability has been with on five flux nodes which I have up and running. Um, now, I've only gotten paid for two of the flux nodes. Um, I had one flux node that was having some issues so it was kept going offline and coming back on so I had to give it a static IP. But that being said, I have all five nodes up and running now. Um, and the way it works with uh, nodes is once you get the node software set up, you have it running um, and have it stable. So basically, I have a UPS backup system that powers all five of these nodes, um, and they're connected through my Wi-Fi uh, wi connection through my internet. Um, what happens is you get added to a queue, basically, and over time that you you move up the rankings in that queue. So right now, <coughs> <coughs> oh, if you take a look here. Um, this ranking here, 1191, will continually count down until it hits zero. And once it hits zero, you get your payout. And the payout is based off of the run on flux to IO um, payout amounts. Now if you go to run on flux .io and take a look over here at the nodes, for cumulus nodes, it is currently, I think it's 7.5%. Yeah, 7.5% deterministic block reward, 7.5%. So basically, every 11 days, um, you get a payout. So if you take a look down here at this bottom left, I'll give a link to this at website here. Basically put in your wallet address and you pass in the um, uh, the URL in the browser. But basically a cumulus, there's 8,363 basically and you, get, you move to the end of the list once you get paid and then it slowly counts down and it takes 11 days for it to count down. Once it hits down to zero, then you get your payout. Um, same with the Nimbus and Stratus nodes, but obviously you get paid more and not only that, but the payment frequency is higher because there's less of them, right? So since there's more cumulus nodes, um, your payment schedule will be a little bit longer than if you have a Nimbus node. So if you can get away with the Nimbus node, you can get a payout every two days and with a higher amount as well. So the only thing limiting me right now to running a Nimbus node is my upload speed isn't fast enough. My upload speed is around, it can hit 50 at its peak, but it's not consistent. So I'm worried that if I get a Nimbus node, uh, I might not meet the upload, I uh, might not meet the requirements for that specific node. So if you take a look at Nimbus nodes here, we require a 50 megabit uh, upload and download speed and a 25 megabit upload and download speed for the Flux node. Most people can get 25 megabits per second. If you can't, then unfortunately you can't run a Flux node at home. But where I am at and um, depending on where, are you, where you are, you'll be able to run each one of these nodes. So we take a look here at basically what my payouts are. I'm going to have to blank out a couple things on the screen, obviously, for security reasons. But let me load up the um, Flux node UI here. <coughs> so what this is, is this is um, uh, Zellcore. So with Zellcore, um, you log into Zellcore, and you'll be able to see uh, all the nodes that you have currently set up. Oh, this is Sphero nodes, my bad. So I went back to the main screen and clicked on apps. Uh, once you click on apps, uh, then you can go over, click on flux nodes. Okay, and then once you click on flux, flux nodes, that will open up the flux screen here with all the information on the various nodes that you have. So let me just take a look at this, move this down a bit. Okay, so it's loading right now. It's a bit slow, um, probably because it's pulling data from the blockchain on the network, but let's see here. So we have the five Flux nodes set up. Uh, one and two are the only ones that have actually paid out now. They're the only ones that have been on long enough to actually get the payout amount. But for those two, um, and these have been running for less than a month now, um, I only received one payout. And every 11 days, it means you'll be able to get, so if you do just the math based off of, of standard 30 days per month, 30, by 11, 2.7 payments per month per flux node. So let's take a look here at what the current payouts were. Okay, now that it's finally loaded here, um, my re rewards were 11.25 flux. Okay, so let's just do the math on that. So 2.7 payments per month. Um, looking at 11.25 that's for two nodes so 
that's 5.6 per payout, okay? So 5.625 times 2.72 payouts per month, that's roughly 15 flux per um, node per month. So then 15 flux right now is not a lot, mind you. Where's the converter? So we'll go uh, 15 flux. Seven ninety-two U.S. dollars per month, which isn't a lot of money, really. Um, but that's because flux is down right now. It's pretty low, right? F Fifty-two cents. Okay, and um, let's talk about the operating costs for that actual one of those units. Sixteen watts per unit. Let's, let's check it out here. So um, you have it running twenty-four-seven using sixteen watts. So let's say ten cents kilowatt hour at about a dollar seventeen a month. So let's subtract a dollar seventeen off that. So you're making fourteen U.S. dollars per month per node. So let's say just say fourteen times five. I'll be making about seventy dollars U.S. right now at its current value. Um, but as you all know, fluxes was up to three dollars and even more in the past, right? So we're we're talking like it could go up six x or ten x. So if it, if I go say by ten x, by six x back to where it was, it's over four hundred dollars a month just to run these nodes. Um, so if if the if the price of flux goes up in the future, like I suspect it is, and a lot of people will do suspect do suspect that it will because flux is a very promising project. People are actually building decentralized apps on this platform. It's not just um, a bullshit coin, right? It's actually a platform for decentralized computing, which is awesome. Like you could build websites on the on the project, um, on launch it on uh, Flux. You can build things like um, like I guess you could run like Minecraft servers and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, um, different applications. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not too long that they get into some sort of NFTs. The project is really booming, and um, one other thing they're looking at going is is with uh, web, uh, decentralized storage, web storage. So think if you have something like OneDrive, or if you use Azure Blob, or uh, or um, AWS S3, or whatever, like storage systems, it's cloud storage, but it's distributed cloud storage and very secure across, you know, decentralized across the entire world, um, so that literally everyone has a copy or, or your, your data can be recovered very easily using this decentralized storage mechanism. And I know they're adding, um, Flux is adding a way to add more storage into your node. So you might be able to throw another SSD under there and get paid even more. So I just kind of want to go over what my current profits were. Um, not a lot right now. Like I said, we're talking 70 <coughs> per month for five nodes and $14 per node. But considering it costs a dollar to run, it's only 16 watts. It generates no electricity or generates hardly any heat. It's a small little thing. And I had the flux sitting in my wallet anyways. Um, I think it's a great uh, option still. And I plan to get up eight of these as well. Anyways, guys, I'm going to keep this uh, video kind of short. But yes, generally right now you're looking at about $14, $15 depending on your electricity rate um, and the efficiency of the unit they use. The flux uh, node store um, that uh, DJ Mines and I talk about, we're selling them for a decent price. And these use around 16 watts. It'll be pre-prepared, ready to go with a menu system to run... Uh, any, any flux nodes you just have to basically go through the menu system and follow the instructional video to set up your own flux node so anyways guys if you like this video please like comment and subscribe and uh i'm gonna go have a rest because i'm still recovering from covid19 and it just it just hits me man like literally around like nine ten o'clock at night it just hits me hard i just want to like crash so i'm hoping hoping i'll recover soon anyways guys maybe i'll recover like the bull market it'll just like blast through the roof i'll get like superhuman strength or something out there i'll recover from coronavirus I don't know. And you guys have coronavirus? You're superheroes now? That'd be cool. Imagine if you like, you got over coronavirus and you like you recovered, but you got like superpowers, like laser beam eyes. You could like Homelander the shit out of that. You know, that'd be awesome. Anyways, guys, that's it for tonight. I'm starting to get loopy and tired. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.